We're here with Justin of Greyworks Fabrication, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this huge area that he's got set up for Maker Fair. Uh, okay, this is the uh, Justin Gray's Fire Sculpture Robots in the Sand Arena. It's just a 60 foot by 60 foot concrete barriered double fenced arena for testing our robots. And what are your, were your robots built for? Uh, this one right here is actually a dirt moving robot. It's a radio controlled electric drive uh, bucket loader. And it's literally for moving dirt around. Did you build it for this event right here? Oh, no, no, no. This is, this is my shop's prototype. And uh, where, are you going to, into production with these? We'd like to, if we have the orders. <laughs> uh, who might you be marketing them to? Uh, basically anybody in the construction industry. Um, any, any situation where you can't, you need to be, uh, the environment does not permit a human. This is a robot that can go into a radiological environment, a biological environment, uh, immersive environment like water or oil and not require any air outside of it to sustain because it's battery electric, it's a closed circuit hydraulic system, uh, there's no diesel engine, there's no massive hydraulics to drive the wheels, uh, so it's self-contained. Are you, are you using mostly off-the-shelf available parts for this? Uh, well, my background is in electric vehicle design and build motorcycles, cars, trucks, um, you name it, I've built it electric drive. And so this, use, this uses sort of standard brushless DC uh, electric drive motive systems. So they are technically off the shelf, yeah. And do you need line of sight for the operator? Do you need line of sight? Currently, yes, but we are gonna be doing an FPV system on this thing. And we would like to have clients that want us to create an immersive environment for them using this robot as a platform. How long have you been working on this project? The, the Robo project, uh, it's about two and a half years in the making. And if people want to learn more about it, where can they go? Uh, robotloader.com. Great. Well, thank you so much for talking to us tonight, Kevin. Yeah, no problem. All right. <laughs> it's coming right for us. It's like a Tonka truck on crack. This is what Elon Musk's kid would take to the beach instead of a bucket and a crowd. <laughs> Kevin, where's your maniacal laugh? Just, just, oh, I'm sorry, Justin, where's your where's your maniacal laugh? <laughs> Working on that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, Brad. <laughs> Wheelies and burnouts. I know. Steers give you a lot of this. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. So there you go. Thank you.